welcome to this segment. This is just a quick segment for detoxification. You obviously don't have to be have any toxic toxins in your body for this to be a great flow. It's a great twist um, flow as well. So anyways, let's come into downward facing dog. Take some time pedaling your feet, shaking your head yes, shaking your head no. Inhale, lift your right leg up and back. Exhale, step it between your hands. Inhale, straighten both legs as you reach your arms alongside your ears. Really start to imagine you're squeezing your inner thighs in towards one another. And then exhale, bring your left arm forward and your right arm back and bend both knees. Hover your left knee just above the ground to get into your left hip flexor. Inhale, straighten up, squeezing in towards the midline with your thighs. Exhale, twist, left arm forward, right arm back. One more time here. Inhale, breathe up. This time, exhale, twist. Keep your back leg straight as you bring your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. Press your palms into a prayer position. Try to get your right thigh parallel to the ground, sending your right hip straight back. And then from here, if you want to go a little bit deeper, you can stretch the arms out. Perhaps you want to take a bind. All right, so just getting right into it. Maybe you want to lift your torso away from the thigh. So binds are all about creating freedom, right? So it's the opposition in yoga, right? That balance. So a bind to find freedom. And then go ahead and release your bind. Drop your back knee down. Flex your right toes back towards your head and then roll to the outer edge of your right foot. That's going to protect the ankle joint from sickling. And then bend your left knee. If you can't grab your left foot, you can grab a strap or a towel and hook your foot. And then bring your heel in and start to open up through the shoulder, looking up and over your, your shoulder. So the heel comes in as you kind of push away from the floor, opening up. Great, and then come back through center, taking your right hand down, straighten your right leg, dig your heel into the ground, micro bend in your right knee, open your right arm up. Let your right toes come in toward the midline of your body, and perhaps even bring your toes towards the ground, trying to get into your right IT band here. One more big breath in, and then exhale, bend your knee back over your ankle. Great, and then straighten your right leg again, and this time, just walking it out, lengthening, going into the back of your thigh, right, your calf, your Achilles, flexing the toes back towards your head. With each inhale, try to find a little bit more length. With each exhale, try to fold in a little bit deeper. And again, the more you dig the heel down, the deeper you get into that hamstring attachment to the glute. Bend your knee back over your ankle and step it back. Downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg up and back. Exhale, step the foot between your hands. Inhale, open your arms alongside your ears. Straighten both legs. Squeeze your thighs in towards one another. And then exhale, take your right arm forward, your left arm back and bend both knees. Hover your right knee towards the ground getting into your right hip flexor. Inhale, straighten up, reach up. Exhale and twist. Nice, deep breathing. Inhale, straighten up. This time you're gonna take your right elbow to the outside of your left knee. Make, um, take your hands into a prayer position, draw your thumbs right into your heart as you look up and over your left shoulder. If you wanna go deeper, you can spread your arms, trying to work your right armpit to the outside of your left knee. If you want to go deeper, take a bind here. And I want you to concentrate again on trying to get your left thigh parallel to the ground and pulling your left hip back. A lot of times your left hip's going to want to duck over towards the left side of the room, but you're going to work on pulling it back and creating space between your torso and your thigh. And again, fire up through your back leg so it, just, it doesn't want to, you know, if it wants to go soft, you're going to keep pulling it up. Take one more big breath out. Inhale back through center, take your hands down, drop your back knee, flex your left foot back towards you. Then from here, roll to the outer edge of your left foot. That's gonna again, protect that ankle. And then bend your right knee. If you can't grab hold of your foot, grab a strap or a towel and hook your foot. And then bring your heel in. As you let your left knee drift over to the left, keeping that foot flexed again, you can start to bring your right heel into your right sit bone, opening up, pushing the floor away. Nice, deep breathing. Take one more big breath out. Inhale back through center, releasing your back foot. 
straighten your left leg, dig your left heel into the ground. And again, that's going to help the stretch in the back of the hamstring and attachment to the glute. And then you can, with each inhale, walk it out a little bit. With each exhale, perhaps fold in a little bit deeper. And just continue moving like that, breathing nice and deep. Again, you want to keep this foot flex, protecting the knee. Great. One more big breath in. And then exhale, bend your knee back over your ankle, step it back, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll to a plank, drop to your knees. And there you have it, a very, very quick flow for detoxification. Bye.